Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. And then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light, where I do all 12 signs and collective readings. The links to those are below. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. And when the winners are announced, just post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for in the comment section below with a green heart um, to enter to win a reading with me. Uh, winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. If you would like to book a reading with me, if you would like to check out my tarot tutorial um, or check out my tarot and oracle decks, all those links are below. Okay, my loves. Ah, let's get popping. I'm feeling so much better today. My head is feeling better. I had like the worst. I don't know if it was like a sinus headache, a migraine. I don't know what it was, but it sucked. I, I could tell you that much, um, but I am feeling better. So what am I grateful for my loves? I'm grateful for my cancer babies. I'm grateful for your love, support, your positive comments. Thank you for the Snapchat, uh, the super chat, Snapchats, listen to me. Um, I'm grateful for my puppies, my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. All right, babies, let's get pop in here. Let's see what we have, what blessing is coming towards you. We're going to pull from Butterfly Blessing Oracle, which is one of my decks. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies, please. What blessing is coming towards cancer? Okay, your blessing comes from taking a risk in a new business or job. Upgrade, higher pay, peace, and less work. Okay. So Cancer, some of you guys may have a business idea and maybe like you open up a little side hustle on the side and it turns into something big. Maybe some of you guys are getting sick of what you're doing for work. You're applying for something new. This could be your confirmation to go ahead and do that. Um, so big things coming in uh, job, career, and finance. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use Raven's Rose Oracle, which is one of my decks. Let's see what we have here, please, Spirit. Tell me about my Cancer Babies. What messages do we have here today for my Cancer Babies, please? Messages for Cancer, please. Okay, so we've got near future, we've got abusive, we've got offended, and we have career. Okay. Cancer, there is someone in your energy here. Now, keep in mind that this could be one person, multiple people. It could be love. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be coworkers. Shit, it could even be a boss, okay? Cancer, with this career card, it says motivated, career driven. My love life is important, but right now my career comes first. I am busy and tired. So Cancer, what I'm feeling you're coming into is this energy of, listen, I invest in my romantic life and it's time and energy wasted. I invested in friends and it's time and energy wasted. I invest in family, it's time and energy wasted. I even invest in my own workplace. I go above and beyond in my own workplace and I'm not appreciated, it's time and energy wasted. So Cancer, I think that many of you are coming into this energy of focusing on things that if you put work and energy into it, you will reap some form of reward, okay? And let's just say you're starting a business. You don't give a shit about anybody or their problems. You're not going all in in the workplace because you're conserving your energy for your side hustle. Um, you know, you're not picking up the phones for friends, family, love interest, because you're devoted to hustling and doing your thing. Some of you could be starting school for something and you're working, you know, a full-time job and going to school for something. It's like, you don't have time for people at this point in your life. You don't have any additional energy that you have. You're putting it into yourself and your financial goals. Okay. Okay. Whether that's going to school for something new, training for something new, um, 
like I said, you may have an idea for a side hustle, uh, your own business, and you're really looking into it, learning about it, do, you know, uh, doing your research about it. Um, right now, you're very much about yourself. And I feel that people are starting to feel very offended or insulted that you're actually doing you. Okay. Now, what I find interesting is, is these people that are so offended over you focusing on yourself are people that were abusing your kindness. Okay. People that were, ab because if, if these people actually gave a fuck about you, cancer. Okay. If they gave a shit about you, they'd be like, Oh, cancer, you're doing something positive for yourself good job. That's what they would be doing. Okay. They would be encouraging you and being like, Oh, cancer, you know, I called you cause I needed you for something, but you know, girl, you know, dude, listen, you're, you're doing you. Oh my God. I'm so proud of you. I'll, I'll figure it out. You do you call me later on tonight. Let me know how, how everything goes. Okay. That would be a friend. That would be someone who cares about you. You're doing something great. Good job, cancer. Okay. No, they are not doing that cancer. What they're doing is they're putting their hand out and instead of clapping, they're saying, listen, I understand that you're doing shit, but I need something from you. Put it right there. I need it. I need your time. I need your energy. What are you doing? Why are you not focusing on me? These are very abusive people. They are cruel. <coughs> they are uncaring. They are selfish. These are people that wanted to break you down mentally, emotionally, spiritually, for some of you even physically. These are people that wanted you to feel worthless so that you didn't wake up one day and see your value and say, shit, you know, I could do something great with my life, okay? I could do something great with my life. Let's just say, um, I, I, you know, in my readings, I know not many readers do this. I, I, I've, I've never personally watched a reading where people do this. The reason why I like to throw examples in my reading is because many times I read the comments and people live in a tiny little box. Okay. Um, you know, you guys come into a reading with like, you know, blinders on tunnel vision and you don't, you don't think outside the box. So when I give examples in my reading, it's because I want you to expand your horizons and understand that not all readings, um, fit in that little box. Okay. So, so what's something like this, a couple examples of something like this, what it would look like is let's just say you're a man or a woman and you make less than your partner. You have a partner that is the breadwinner and this breadwinner partner pays for the majority of the bills. They make more money, but they make you feel inferior or stupid or like you, you know, you would, you can never reach their level or that you're just the scum of the earth because you don't make the money that they make. Okay. Yet these people, like, it's like they expect you to be a slave or do things or, you know, kiss the ground that they walk on for taking care of you. And now what you're doing is you're saying, listen, I'm not going to sit here and be bitched around by you. I'm going to school for something. I'm starting a business. I'm focusing on myself. They're not going to want to hear that. Why are you starting a business? Why are you going to school? I'm taking care of everything. You don't need to do that. Go do the laundry. Because they don't want to see you succeed. They like you being underneath them. Okay. Um, you know, it's almost like this is an energy of somebody that whether they have more than you or they don't, there was a period of time here where this person felt superior to you, even if they were not superior to you. Uh, this could be a boss, right? That sees that you are very intelligent and that you are very good at what you do. And they know that if you were to open your own office or your own business or whatever, you would be some serious competition. Do you see what I'm saying? And even though they know that about you because they fear you or because they're intimidated by you, they want to keep you in this abusive space so that you're more focused on being in pain or feeling used or abused or, you know what I'm saying, unappreciated. You're more, you're more focused about being in your feelings than you are, you know, uh, 
being a better person or, 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 you know, growing in life. Okay. This is somebody that sees your potential, knows that you can be something amazing. Okay. And they want to make you feel inferior because they're intimidated. Like if you were to actually start investing in yourself and start believing in yourself, you would be better than them. Right. And they don't, they don't like that. They don't like that. This is someone that actually enjoys. You know what image I just got in my head? This would be like having, think of like, an amazing uh, sports player like Michael Jordan, LeBron James. I don't know. Think of, think of like a major, major like basketball, football player, right? Picture them being a towel boy to an inferior player. That's the type of shit that we're looking at here. So your potential here, Cancer, is off the chain. And the thing is, is that they know it. They know you're very intelligent. They know that you're capable. They know it, okay? Now, another thing I just heard, we do have the word career here, which is money and finances. But another way I want you to take this, because don't forget, career talks about, you know, working on something, okay? It, it could be a representation of working on something. Some of you may have gotten into a relationship where your body was decent. Okay. You, you had a, you know, you were skinnier or whatever through abuse, depression, maybe having children, whatever the case may be. Maybe you lost your figure a little bit. You let yourself go. Okay. You're, 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 you know, uh, a, a little chubbalicious. Okay. This person maybe constantly puts down your appearance, knowing that if you went to the gym and you put your mind to it, that you would have a banging fucking body, okay? Now, Cancer, some of you could be, in fact, getting serious with um, dieting and going to the gym. Do I have a piece of hair stuck in my nail? Um, dieting or going to the gym and you're starting to lose weight and this person is starting to panic, because they know that if you were at your best and you go to the gym or you look good and you start taking care of yourself, you know, you start getting that beard trimmed or, you know, get it going to that barber shop and getting that fade in or whatever, you know, getting those plaits, whatever, the, the, whatever, whatever it is that you do with yourself. Okay. Your dreads, whatever, you know, um, for my ladies out there, you start getting those facials, you start getting your nails done, your feet done. As soon as you're going to, as soon as as you start feeling yourself, you are too good looking to be with them. Do you understand? So there's a, there's a person here that's intimidated by your potential, whether it be in career and finance or whether it be on something else that you have to work on, which is like a personal goal, like your, your body or something. And cancer, I think that this person is getting highly offended or annoyed that you are ignoring them to focus on bettering yourself when what they should be doing is good job, cancer. Do you understand? But this person doesn't do that. When they put that hand out, they're like, you're supposed to be paying attention to me. You're supposed to be broke, you know, overweight, unhappy, miserable, depressed. Um, you know, you, you should be, you know, if this is a boss, you should be coming in every day, working for me, uh, doing shit that is outside of your pay grade. Do you understand? Cancer, some of you guys could be so good at your job that you're getting paid $15 an hour and you're doing the work of somebody that should be getting paid $30 an hour. So there's a manager here getting paid that $30 an hour. You're, you're doing your job and their job because it just comes naturally to you because maybe you're a natural born leader, right? And 
now you're starting to apply for other positions or something like that to be in that managerial position. And they are panicking because they've had it good. They get paid $30 an hour to do fucking nothing because you've been doing your job and their job. Now, if they lose you, they have to hire someone else. They have to do their job and stay on top of everybody else when they had it good. They were paying somebody half the price to do two people's job. You Are you following what I'm, what I'm saying here? So... And cancer, even regarding love, you know, like I said, if you've got, you have someone here that doesn't want you to be a superstar. You see what I'm saying? You got someone here that does not want to see you shine because if you're all dull and tired and worn out and you know, your light isn't shining bright, you know, then, uh, then they look special. Do you understand? There is someone here that wants you, that wants to always see you sick, tired, overwhelmed, uh, hurting, distracted, uh, so that it makes them look amazing. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. So we've got the queen of swords and the 10 of cups with the world card and the four of swords cancer. You know what I love about this setup here? Queen of swords, 10 of cups, the world card and the four of swords. You know what this screams? enough is enough. Enough is enough. The number four is the number of stability and the number 10 is the number of completion. The world card is a chapter that is ending in your life and something new beginning. And the queen of swords is you smartening the fuck up. And it's you having your boundaries, putting your sword up and saying, listen, I get paid X amount of dollars and I'm not going to do that because that is not part of my job. And if you don't like it, feel free to fire me. I would love to see what grounds you're firing me under when that is not part of my job description. If this is a relationship thing, uh, you know, cancer, why haven't you done the laundry? Why isn't the house clean? Why isn't this done? Why isn't that done? Well, you know, I decided to go job searching today, or I decided to take a six month course, or I decided to, you know, I have a business idea and I've been researching, you know, how to get it started. They don't want to hear shit like that. Okay. They do not want to hear shit like that. They don't want to hear it. And cancer with the four swords, this is you working on yourself. And when you're done working on yourself, relaxing and recharging and taking the time that you need, it is going to piss people off something fierce. You know why? Because you have now just become competition. You have now just become a whole entire fucking problem. Okay. You have allowed yourself to be hurt, used, mistreated, abused, taken advantage of by, by one or multiple people. And now you're like, listen, I, I don't need this in my life. I'm going to focus on my health. I'm going to focus on my well-being. I'm going to focus on my own money, my own shit, my own time. And with the five of pentacles here, cancer, it is going to be a massive loss for these people. Why? Because it was the way where you were sitting made these people feel inferior. Do you see what I'm saying? Like I said, I mean, imagine a major, major, major sports player playing towel boy to someone way inferior than them. And you've got this inferior player bossing around Michael Jordan or LeBron James, or there's so many out there and I can't think of the names. Okay. You know, you got, so you got so many people out there doing this stuff, right. Uh, that, that are just making people that are actually way better than them feel inferior. And that's where you have been sitting. Even in relationships, cancer, you have been with people that you have no, that literally have no business being in the same room with you, breathing the same air as you. And these people have somehow made you feel inferior in some way, shape or form. Okay. You know, and, and you're like, you don't even, you shouldn't even have had a chance with me from the get go. Like I am too good of a person to even be with someone like you. And instead of you appreciating the blessing, you're sitting here making me feel like I'm not good enough to be around you. Okay. I'm confused. You know, I am confused. 
You know, and you know what they really don't like, Cancer? The fact that you're talking about it. Page of Cups, the Chariot, and the Nine of Pentacles. They don't like it. Okay, they don't like it because I feel like you're you're telling this person, hey, you know, I you know, I started my own side hustle. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I've learned, you know, I'm, I'm going to school for this and I'm doing this or I'm doing that. You know, I, I feel like with this page of cups energy, you may be somewhat open about what you're doing and I feel like you're very excited about it because with the chariot and the nine of pentacles cancer this is you moving towards independence this is you uh, not needing anybody's opinion or anybody's approval this is you standing on your own two feet and I feel like with this king of pentacles and this tower energy mind you the king of pentacles is lower than the nine of pentacles the king of pentacles is not a scrub. The king of pentacles is not a poor person. The king of pentacles, you know, they have their shit together, but they're not as, they're, they're not as, uh, prosperous as the nine of pentacles. And it's a tower moment for this person. It is a tower moment for this person. Okay. Because you're sitting here saying, yeah, I, you know, I have a business idea or yeah, I'm applying for jobs or I'm going to school for something or, you know, I'm going to the gym. I've been looking into nutrition and what to eat, which interestingly enough, guys, I'm going to throw it out there. I keep seeing this thing called the carnivore diet on TikTok. I think I'm going to try it. I don't know what's going to happen, but I think I might try it. I just don't know. I'm serious about my coffee. I don't know if I could give up coffee, but I'll try it. But either way, my point here is, is that cancer, you're trying something. You're doing something. With the page of wands, the eight of pentacles, and the ace of wands, not only are you doing something, but you're passionate about it. You know, the eight of pentacles could talk about being an apprentice, learning something. Maybe you're self-learning, okay? Um, you know, some of you could teach, be, you know, with the high priestess under the deck, some of you guys could be learning some type of spiritual work. Maybe you're learning learning how to be a tarot reader. Maybe you're learning how to do Reiki. Maybe you're, you're starting uh, classes for grounding and meditation. I don't know. Okay. But with the high priestess here, this is you coming into an energy of being more spiritually ascended. Okay. And not letting anyone distract you from your path. People can see the road that you're going down and they already know the outcome. You may not know the outcome, Cancer. You could just be super excited to be doing something. Because, you know, I mean, we, as much as we say, oh, I'm going to do it, I have faith in myself or whatever. We, you know, we, we always have self-doubt. You know, we always have that little corner of our mind of what if it fails, whatever the case may be, right? You know, but the people around you, the people around you, Cancer, are like, Oh my gosh, if can cancer is going to succeed at this and when cancer succeeds at this, we're in trouble. We are in freaking trouble. If cancer starts that business, if cancer, you know, applies for other jobs, if cancer hits that gym, if cancer is serious about this diet, I am in fucking trouble. Because cancer is going to be a, a pre-empress nine of pentacles energy. And for my men out there, pre-empress doesn't mean you're a girl. It just pre-empress energy is just someone that sits in an energy of being mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually independent, not needing anybody, being self-sufficient. Your approval, you know, um, my life is not based on your approval, okay? They're intimidated by you, Cancer. That's what it is. They are intimidated by you. And they know once you get your mojo back, once you start going, you know, once you start doing your thing here, they know that eventually you're going to break away from them. They know that you're going to be on fire here. They know that you're going to be with the star card. Everybody sees the car, the stars, right? Everybody, they, everybody has access. You look up, you see them, right? So the star card could be a representation of fame, fortune, getting a lot of compliments, being seen. Queen of Wands wakes up in beast mode every single day. The Queen of Wands is very attractive. The Queen of Wands is, you know, someone that wakes up in the morning, puts on a cute outfit, puts on their makeup, does their, or, or you know, does their hair, go does it, whatever men do in the morning. I don't know what the hell you guys do. I don't know. Brush your hair, brush your teeth. I don't know. But my point is, is they leave the house looking nice. They're feeling themselves. They're on fire. They feel good about themselves. 
themselves. They're, they're sitting in a healthy ego, right? They see that once you start rolling and, and start feeling yourself again, that with that eight of cups energy, you're going to start, you know, going in a different direction. You are going to start going in a different direction. Yep. Yeah, Empress and the three of swords and the nine of wands, it's killing these people. It is killing these people because they know that you are on your way to Empress energy. They know the Empress is a master manifester. Okay. The Empress is also pregnant cancer. Okay. Um, what does birth consist of, you know, giving birth to new life means what pain, any woman out there that has been through a pregnancy, especially those of you like me that have been through it with no medicine and gave birth naturally, yet if you know, you know, right? Okay. You know, it is painful to give birth to new life. So cancer, I mean, I don't see that, you know, this is coming super duper easy to you. You're, you're putting in the elbow greet, you're putting in the work, you're, you're, you know what I'm saying? You're hustling, you're doing your thing. You're really investing your time and energy into something. And I think that people have a true fear. They're really intimidated because they know you're going to succeed. And they know that once you do succeed, that you're not even going to give these people a time of fucking day. So you have someone that you were here and they felt like they were up here looking down on you. And that is about to change. That is about to change. Now, here's what's funny, Cancer. I feel like when you're up here, you don't wouldn't look down on the person that's down here. You would bring yourself here and try to lift themselves with you. But not everybody is like that. Not everybody is like that. Okay? Not everybody is like that. So cancer, there, there is either one or more people here that are extremely intimidated by the path that you're going down, okay? What else does cancer need to know about? Actually, no. Hold on. Spirit, what else does cancer need to know about this? We've got past life. We've got Cupid. We have sex sync secret here. We've got selfish. We've got narcissistic and we got divorce. So Cancer, this these cards right here may not resonate with everybody, okay? They may not resonate with everybody. If you are in a, if this resonates with you on a romantic level, the person that you've been dealing with, A, is a full-blown narcissist, and B, they are bisexual. And that is why they get with people that they feel are inferior to them because they like to abuse people of the opposite sex because in reality, they are attracted to the same sex. That's why this is a very selfish, egotistical, greedy person. Things will be end ending finally with this individual. So if, let's just say, Cancer, you're a woman and you're with a man, and this man is very narcissistic and extremely abusive towards you, and you may even know that they have a history of being this way towards other women, it could be because deep down they are attracted to the same sex and they have an animosity to people of the opposite sex. But that shit is dead and gone, okay? So for those of you who needed confirmation on that, there, there's that. Now, we've got past life here and Cupid. So Cancer, I do see new love coming in for you because this says Cupid intense love at first sight. I knew you were the one from the moment I laid eyes on you. I'm high on our love. And then we've got past life, soul contract, familiar. I feel like I've known you my whole life from the moment you met my, from the moment we met, my soul knew you. So it looks to me, Cancer, like you've got new money coming in, a new life coming in, and new love coming in. Okay. So we're going to take it into the extended and let's see what we have going on 
with all of that. We're gonna do a reading for new love. We're gonna do a reading for new money. We're gonna get timelines to see when these things are coming towards you. Let's see what's happening with those things. And then we'll take a quick look at this ex and what their karma might be for the things that they've done to you, okay? The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I will see you there. Take care, my loves.